Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Guys, can we talk about it? Can we can we have a can we can we have a conversation about Bowman's in the news again? You know, Bowman is such a nuisance. He is. Bless him. God love him, but he is such a nuisance. He was a guest on Hot FM radio. And he said a lot of stuff, but I'm just gonna highlight two things that he said. First of all, Bowman wakes up and says one day i'm going to enter state house now of course what he means by that is that he thinks that he will become president of zambia one day in zambia when you say i'm going to enter state house what you're saying is one day i'm going to become the president of the republic of zambia now as far as bowman lusambo is concerned there's a word for that there's a phrase for that delusions of grandeur have you ever heard of this do you know what that means have i shared this with you delusions of grandeur you know what that means it means somebody thinks of them themselves higher than what they actually are they have delusions of grandeur it's like looking at king charles over there in england and then you look at King Charles and you say to yourself, one day, boy, one day I'm going to rule over England. I'm going to be the king of the United Kingdom, Scotland, Wales, and all of that. Well, those are delusions of grandeur. You know why? Because from your vantage point, there is no clear path to the monarchy. There isn't. Okay. In the same vein, by the same token, when you hear Bowman Lusambo say, one day I'm going to be president. First of all, let me tell you where that came from. For those of you that do not know, the reason Bowman said this is because he heard it. Guess where he heard it from? He heard it from Julius Malema. Remember a while ago, Julius Malema was testifying somewhere and Julius says, one day I'm going to be president of this country. I'm going to be president of this country one day, whether you like it or not. That is a reality that you have to wrap your brain. Of course, my, my South African accent is terrible. But basically, Julius Malema was the originator of that statement. So Bowman was sitting at home one day and he comes across, he, you know, he's going through the wormhole. And he comes across a video by Julius Malema saying to the south african people and the people that are that are questioning julius julius turns around and says one day i'm going to be president of this country so bowman looks at that and says you know what <laughs> that could easily be me how about i stand in in front of my zambian people and say to them one day whether you like it or not i'm going to enter state house well here's the thing here's the trouble with that thought Here's the problem with that delusion, is that from Bowman's vantage point, the path to the presidency is a mirage. You know why? Because the Zambian people have raised the level, we've raised the standard of leadership so high that people like Bowman are automatically disqualified. Woo! Oh, that's, listen, God just dropped that in my heart. I wasn't even thinking of that. It just came to me. Can we say that again? The Zambian people have raised the bar of leadership so high that it is near impossible for people like Bowman Lusambo to ascend to the presidency. Now, here's, here's the problem with that. And, and I know this is a challenge that most Zambians will put forward. Some of you are going to say, but you are not God. Eh? Well, let me submit to you. God doesn't vote. Boom! There you go. 
stick that in your pipe and smoke it. If you don't like that, you can jump through this. Let me say it again in case some of you missed it. For those of you that are in the habit of saying, No, ni le somwine, eo pekanya, eo ishiwe. Le somwine, he's the omnipotent, he's the omnipresent, he's the omni, uh, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God that presides over everything. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the confines of God's shortless supply. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but the truth is God doesn't vote you and I vote God creates the tree you create the table <laughs> ever thought of that God creates the tree you create the chair God created the ocean you build the boat that goes on the ocean <laughs> listen man I'm throwing down that's what I'm trying to tell you. So when, when, when you hear Bowman say things like, I'm going to be president of this country, what you're hearing is delusions of grandeur because the Zambian people have moved beyond that caliber, that type of leadership. That leadership that we have leadership is neither here nor there. We don't want it. It's got no use. It has outlived its usefulness. Well, might a guilixio? Have you guillered? Do you know what it means to guiller? To guiller means have you grasped? Have you embraced? Have you comprehended that concept? Listen, the sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be, honestly, really. The sooner you realize that, the, you'll sleep better at night, honestly, really, and I'm telling you the truth. Secondly, Bowman says, the entire civil service, civil service is infiltrated, is chocked full of PF members. And we, as PF, we receive daily briefings from these civil servants who are incognito PF agents. Now, let me explain why Bowman says that. That's, that's a trick that all politicians use. I don't care who they are. Politicians use that. Politicians have been using that trick for, 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 for time, what's the phrase? From time immemorial? Yes, from time immemorial. It could be for time immemorial. I don't know. Correct me in the, in the, in the comments. But politicians have been using that trick of saying, no, in fact, the whole civil service is it's infiltrated with our agents. So, everything you are doing, we are on top of the game. It's that mushara type of politics. We are on top of the mushara. We are on top of the mushara. meeting. In I was in that meeting. Kaunda didn't know I was there. Because at that time, Muna Muzambia, Abantu Barish, already Zambians to Arish Pula. No, but in those days, to Arish Pula West. In those days, the level of, of Ukushipula, Muli Mushala, was much higher than today. Bantu, in those days, Abantu nga ba unfuati, oh, Mushala landa ti, adi mu meeting na baka unda. Ichalo choise cha unfuila. Ye, na unfuati Mushala, adi mu meeting na baka unda. No, baka unda didn't know he was in that meeting. Because in those days, people were ignorant. They're ignorant now, but less so. So when, whenever Bowman says things like, no, the, the entire civil servant is, infiltra is infiltrated uh, with our agents, it's a trick. It's a political trick. And let me tell you why he does that. He wants to do, he wants to see the, the Charles Kakula type of politics. Mulebusha Charles Kakula. Charles Kakula. I the Ministry of Works and Supply. I had to fish out to Mkashana, Miss Sherry. Alanda Tio Sherry. Now, remember, Charles broke a government seal. Charles Kakura is just a kada. He's just a PF kada. Yeah? I saw him. 
on the strength of his announcement that is a PF Kada, he goes to a government institution, a government institution, a government seal, walks in confidently, proudly, approaches a woman and says, Iwa Sheri, we not to fight you are you are a UPND surrogate. Not to fight you are a UPND agent. To unveil I what you were, you sympathize with the UPND. So because you sympathize with the UPND, to Zakuchita flash out. What did Charles Kakula do? He threatened. Now this was guys, remember, this was during the, the time that the, the notorious Patriotic Front, the NPF, were in power. This was during the time that these sort of antics were were applauded and they were encouraged by Abena Davis Mula, by SG Baku 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 Secretary PF. In those days, these types of uh, acts, they were celebrated. Now, I said, Charles, I said, I said, I said, I they marked that as a sign of loyalty to the party. Kakula, a useless chap who wakes up and goes to a government institution and he grabs a civil servant on the allegation that she's a UPND sympathizer, takes her to the office of the permanent secretary, while P.S. Nawabo completely helpless. And I don't blame him because in those days, Uriya P.S., Uriya Secretary, Uriya Permanent Secretary, these are offices. These are offices. Do you know the report that would have reached the uh, secretariat? Now PS was sympathizing with the, this UPND, which means PS now now only sympathize with our UPND. So the PS was completely helpless. He couldn't do anything. He was just there, just quite cheap. He was just sitting. That means why? Because he knew Ngalandako. Now Balam Shashani, Balam Sha implicate. Who shall he more? Allah Bambu. So he had to just sit there. The type of politics Boma Nusambo wants to promote by saying there are PF surrogates within the civil service, uh, civil service. Boma wants a UPND cadre to go inside the government institution and fish out people they suspect of being PF uh, uh, UPND sympathizers and threaten them. You recall Charles Kakula upon pointing at Sheri said, you are Madam Sheri to Alaku Komena Mofesi to Rekutamfia to Akutamfia we isa kukuno we la bomba panupa ministry of works and supply nga to akusanga to alaku komena mu office to alako chia you remember if we find you here we are going to lock you up in your office and we are going to burn you alive that sort of thing was encouraged within the NPF. Idea report the Africa Kuriba SG by Davis Mwila. Alava never temenwe. They were celebrating. Sub Bowman was at the forefront of of paying for Charles Kakula's uh, lawyers' fees when he was taken to court there. It was Bowman who took out money and paid the fine for, for Kakula to walk scot free. It was Bowman during the NPF. Hey, their politics. Bowman alefwa alereta their politics. Yeah, 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 witch hunting politics. But anyway, but anyway, PF, would any PF, would any civil servant in PF, would any PF sympathizer, Mopokeni, go and get him, bring him here, threaten him, eh, threaten him to that you are going to bend him in his office. Buane FF Fia di Pua Fia di Pua. If you're Takuava, Edo Takua, Kamena Foot. Are you listening to me? If your your politics, that antiquated, chaotic style of politics has no place within the realm of the Zambian context. Somebody, please hold me back. Hold me back before I go off on you. So, so whenever, don't, don't, do not be weary. 
do not be tired in spirit when you hear people like Bowman and Osambo say to you, try to plant the seeds of division, hatred and animosity and acrimony by saying, making broad statements, painting in broad strokes, talking about everybody in the, the, the civil service of PF. What you're trying to foster is a spirit of anonymity, a spirit of conflict, a spirit of conflagration, a spirit of division, a spirit of acrimony, but I'm here to tell you that time has passed. We no longer live in that way and we will never ever go back. <laughs> Boom, now you go run. You go run and tell that. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.